Welcome to Tech Tips with Sold Out Media. Today, we're looking at yet another tripod. Tripod! <laughs> okay, so just to go back in time, we looked a little bit at the Vanguard. The Vanguard. Alta Pro. And our whole discussion was uh, uh, comparing the Vanguard to the Manfrotto uh, 190 yes. Pro. But the, the idea was with the Alta 2, we, we wanted to test this against a Manfrotto leg to see if it was quieter. And we wanted to uh, see if these were more sturdy than the snap locks on the Manfrotto. Mm -hmm. uh, we were also interested a little bit in the fact that this head comes out. The issue when I was doing this one, when we were doing this one last week, something I saw that I didn't see, of course, in the website when we ordered it, was how this is constructed. We have a lot of uh, jib heads that have the same similar, here, take that, same similar construction. And this can be very easy to break, actually, how that's embedded in there. There is a balance screw on the bottom. And we, we already saw that this was actually starting to come loose a little bit just in our test. So it Keep led me to continue the search for another tripod. So guys, you can see, no surprise, Benro. And these are the Go Plus travel tripods. One is the FGP28A, and the other one is the FGP18A, right? Series one, series two. The, the difference is, well, obviously, this is a slightly bigger system. These are just heads. So you open up the little guy. Opening up the little guy. I'll open up the big guy. Box is just a burst. I'm a, I'm a December kid, so as everybody knows, like, I love presents. I love Christmas, right? Like, December's my month. Yeah, December's expensive. Ta-da. It's a gorgeous bag, really. I really love this little bag. Yeah. Looks like you're carrying a trumpet with you. It does actually look like a trumpet case, doesn't it? And then you have another case in there, so you don't even need the first case. Both of these tripods are significantly cheaper than the, the Manfrotto and the Vanguard. The, uh, just on Amazon, we were looking at them, and the Vanguard comes in at 185 euros. Yes. What does that translate to dollars? Uh, well, we'll put that up on the screen for you so you can see what the, what the translation is. But this little guy comes in at 151 euros. Yes. And he comes in at a 161 euros. Yes. 10 euros difference for a couple extra centimeters and a couple extra pounds of stability. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So here's the 28A and the uh, 18A. 18A. And you can see. You can see the difference. And again, I have a Manfrotto. Now this is the 290. This is a little bit different than the 190 we've been talking about, but not that different really in size. And you have to remember that this has a head on it. So it's yeah, ignore the head. Ignore the head. Think about where my hand is to the, the legs. And then look at the Vanguard to them again. Right. Northward is also to say that most of the heads you can interchange between the brands. Yeah, absolutely. You don't have to have a Benro head on a Benro. You can have a Manfrotto head on a Benro. No, for, for example, that Benro head right there, that was on sale. And it'll go on this one. Yeah, exactly. It, it, was, it was a third of the price that it normally was. I got like an early Black Friday sale. So I bought a Benro head for him. The Vanguard, not for me. <laughs> anyway, so here we go. Key features with these tripods. Let's talk about the weight first. This tripod comes in at 1.92 kilos in, in weight. Yeah, physical weight or mass. Yeah. This one comes in at 1.59, so 1.6. But uh, both the Vanguard and the Manfrotto also come in closer to this guy at about 1.9 kilos. Yes, white wise they're just under two kilos. Right, exactly. And then the payload that these can take. This guy here can take 14 kilos of weight. This one can take 10. The Vanguard can take seven. Seven. And the Manfrotto can take seven. Yes. Uh, the max height on this guy is 165 centimeters. This one has slightly less, 154. Uh, and this one is very comparable again to the Vanguard, which is 162. 
Yes. And I think the Manfrotto is comes in around 164. Yes, slightly more than one of them. Exactly, right? So let's look at the key features that we were talking about. How easy is it, is it to adjust in a production? And how quiet is it? Get in there with the mic. I'm trying to be quiet, and I'm trying to be forceful. All right. And you try the Vanguard. And here's Manfrotto, and again, this is a pretty standard Manfrotto. Now, the Manfrottos, you can get them with these kind of, uh, uh, what do you call locks, the twist locks. That's dangerous. But there's the Manfrotto. First, you hear that, and then you hear this. Try and so quiet. Right. And hard. But I will say this, though. This material... You, you hear it when you touch it. when you touch it. Yeah, you don't hear these guys quite as much. Now, these are inverted folded, the Benros, whereas the Manfrotto and the Vanguard are, you can see the, the head stays on the top. In the Benro, the head stays in between the legs when you're packing it away. Yep. If you want to release or lock the legs, it's a little lift button. It's very easy just to lift it and adjust it. It's not so hard to do the other ones too. I mean, like we're talking minimum effort for all three of them, but... This one you just have to hold down while you adjust. Exactly. And then it'll find its spot. What I don't like about that one is that when you're, when you're doing that, sometimes if you're not holding it well enough, it will click in on you. Yeah. Before, oh and goodness. then you have to unclick it. So sometimes if you're trying to do multiple things at once, but this one you can just unlock it and keep going with it until you get your right adjustment. And when you're actually locked, it doesn't move at all. Right. That's handy. With the Manfrotto, Manfrotto has a couple of different versions of this actually. This one here is just a twist top. So he can do like this guy does. They have another version of that as well. Do we have one close by? Yeah, so this is, this is one of the newer Manfrotto locking ways. So then you have that and you have to pull it all the way. You have to hold it in the whole time you're adjusting it. And I mean, that's, that's all right but I have had it be annoying at times. Let's look at this bin road now. Easy, easy to set up, nice and quiet, which were our reasons for looking at these. And then let's see if we can get the heads to come out. Little push button on the bottom. And so, and just like the Vanguard and the Manfrotto, we can get very, very low to the ground with these guys. Swedes love nature, so we do a lot of, for the TV channel we work with, we do a lot of nature photography or vignettes. Yeah, so basically this is good for if your tripod can't stand on the ground underneath, say if you're doing a, a little crook or a creek, and you want to kind of hang over the water, and you don't want to put your tripod in, then this arm is great. You can pay anywhere from $1,000 to a tripod to $100 for a tripod, or $50. Don't buy the $50 tripod. Uh, no, <laughs> not even at all. All right, since we have this off, there's another feature we could show them. Yeah, tell them. So one of these sides has a little grip on it, and that actually is a monopod. Undo this part. This becomes obsolete at the moment. And you have the big things in here. So you just... The screw attach attachment, it. yeah. Screw attachment. And then, yeah, you have a monopod right with you. Ta-da. Again, too, these, uh, these twist locks, yeah. it's quite easy to grab them and then tighten, just like you would with any other tripod. Yeah. So twist locks aren't a disadvantage in that sense. And I find them less likely to crack, which was a big issue that we were having with Manfrotto tripods. All right, a couple little things. What's in the bag here that you should know about? Strap's always good. Strap for your bag. You get a little case full of goodies and an instruction manual. And in some cases, those come in handy. In the itty bitty tripod, we have smaller things. They're the same things. There's just one smaller. The hook is a bit itty bitty here. So there's the hook eating. There you go. So super easy, you just unspin it. Then you put the spike in instead. All right, so what we did here was to put a snow spike in, which is good if you're uh, on slippery or, uh, or surfaces that rubber doesn't work with, so when it's icy. Always good to just jab it in there so it doesn't slide around. 
it's no fun having a nice shot and your tripod just kind of slides away under you. And then the counterbalance here, I got this on now. All right, so. so you could actually take your backpack or whatever you have with you and sort of attach it on the hook. And what that does is it weighs your tripod down more. So in a windy situation, your, your tripod's not gonna go anywhere. But I mean, these are great. With the Manfrotto and with the Vinton, or the Vinton, the Vanguard, Vinton's another tripod brand. You, you have to buy these separately. Yeah, I was super happy that it came in the right in the bag. So for the price for the ben Benro, and for the uh, uh, the size of it, you actually get quite a lot of tripod for these little guys. Yeah, and it feels really sturdy, so that's really nice. Right now we have two. Just real quick, so you can see, we have two different tripod heads that I wanted to show you. We do a lot of video, so we're interested in having a video head in a video head, you want something that you can pan smoothly and that you can tilt smoothly with. So this is very much like a fluid head. Actually, I wonder if it is a fluid head. It's either a fluid head is or a tension head. It says a video head, so it's a tension head. Yeah. But I mean, this is, this is a terrific mount for someone who's doing video, but it doesn't necessarily, as you can see, allow you to travel so easily with it. Now, uh, this little head here, this is very much like a photography head, but this is kind of the best of both worlds. So if you're, if you're shooting photography, you can mount your camera and then take a portrait or landscape, but you can also have it as a video head, tilting and panning, or tilting, sorry. And actually this little guy here acts as a very smooth pan. Yeah, so you right? have three separate axes, axes of control. Guys, look, these things are great. Again, I got this one on sale, early Black Friday sale. Uh, it's a great in-between. I mean, it's the best of both worlds. It's kind of like I said, it's kind of like a video head uh, and it's kind of like a photography head. So if you do a little bit of both, it's excellent. Let me just show how easy this guy folds up with this on it. You can also buy a couple of heads instead of multiple tripods if you're doing different things. Depending on how many cameras you have, you don't need multiple tripods, but we have like... Too many. Too many. Oh, okay, actually I gotta do this backwards. So I'm gonna fold this up into its minimum space with the head on it. All right, then I'll fold this one up in its minimum space. Done. You said it rolled down the arm too. There you go. So you can see I can't really get with the head on it quite the same storage space, but it still ends up being shorter than, say, the Manfrotto. Stores easier than the Manfrotto. Stores a little shorter than him. The Manfrotto, in, in this capacity, that's the widest it's going to be versus this guy. This one is. Right. But anyway, guys, that gives you some idea. I hope this was helpful for you. We'll let you know. We'll, we'll, we'll come back with a video where we try these outside. Yeah, outside properly. Yeah, and actually see how they do in the field. Thank you for watching. I hope you like and subscribe. Don't waste your money on a five hundred or five thousand dollar tripod. Yeah, and don't buy a fifty dollar tripod. Don't buy a fifty dollar tripod. There's other options. Have a great day.